Hello everybody, Mr. Moo here in the cockpit, here in Elite Dangerous, here in Cleary Port at HIP 5881 with a video that's been pretty high on the request list for quite a while and I've finally gotten around to being able to do it. This one's going to be a combination of a few videos actually. You're going to want to go back and maybe look at my So You Want a Good Docking Approach video and also my third party Elite video specifically EDDB. Why? <laughs> because today we're in the smuggling business. So, you want to be a smuggler? Here's what you need. First off, you're going to need a fast ship. A Cobra 3 is optimal for this. You can do ASP Explorers. You can do, actually, you can do just about anything if you are brave enough to uh, fly it. But, for the most part, a Cobra 3 is just about perfect. It's fast, it's got a small profile, it can get into and out of trouble fairly quickly, and it will hold a decent amount of cargo. In this case, I've got this one set up with A-rated thrusters, chill boost north of 450 in a pinch, dual heat sink launchers, and 40 tons of cargo space. Why? Well, let's go into EDDB and look up Kaleri Port and look up all the features of this particular place. Now, as you can see, the facilities here, a market, a black market, which is what we're going to be looking at, outfitting, restock, refuel, etc. Here's the prohibited items that you can sell at the black market. Beer, liquor, narcotics, tobacco, wine, combat stabilizers, performance enhancers, progenitor cells, imperial slaves, slave slaves, and toxic waste. Right then, that's quite an extensive list of things that are prohibited, and that means quite an extensive list of things we can turn a profit on. In this case, we're going for beer. Click on beer. Loadity, loadity, load. Current system, HIP 5881. Click on find stations. And the nearest station that sells beer is Plucker Dock in HIP 6978. That data was out, uh, let's see, that data was updated 21 minutes ago. I was about to say outfitted. No, that's not right. Data was updated 21 minutes ago. It's 30 light years away, and you can buy it for 81 credits. Sounds like a win to me. Let's hit Black Sky. So we made it to Plucker Dock, we're here, we're on the pad, let's head to Starport Services and see what they can provide for us. And there we go, beer down here under legal drugs. You can buy it for 81 credits, 40 tons. Because when I plan a kegger, I plan a kegger. All right, let's get the fuel tanks topped off. And then let's head back for HIP 5881. And we're gonna wanna go directly into the system map and load up the station. That'll shortcut us a little bit of time. And you're going to want to save as much time as you can, just, just because. You're going to have pirates chasing after you, potentially. You're going to have the local cops after you, potentially. If you get scanned on your docking approach to the station, you could end up with a front row seat to the next big laser zep revival. And you're the target of honor. So you're going to want a fast ship, a sneaky ship, or one that can mask its heat signature. Now you can either do that through running silent, or you can do like I do and just load up on a ton of heat sinks. You're up. Gear coming up. Watch out for the beluga. Yeah, try not to draw too much attention to yourself either. No, uh, no moving violations. Now 
Now there are plenty of other ways to smuggle goods. If you get in good with local organizations, sometimes legit, sometimes otherwise, you can find yourself getting missions where you are transporting goods, or people if you have passenger compartments, that are listed as something like cargo may be illegal in jurisdictions, or passenger may be wanted in certain jurisdictions. That's also a smuggling mission as far as I can tell. That's just smuggling either a high-profile citizen who maybe doesn't want to be so high-profile, maybe wants to, shall we say, avoid Imperial entanglements, or haul some cargo that one company wants you to drop off at another company and maybe avoid the uh, customs paperwork a little bit. Those are also smuggling jobs. They just happen to be smuggling jobs on commission for somebody else. Okay, 2300 light seconds to clear report. Now with a station like this, you're going to want to dock on the ball end on the right. If you're unfamiliar with the station designs. They're, they're all pretty varied in Elite, but they come down to three or four... Three or four main groups with a bunch of little subclasses in. Mostly... In fact, all stations I've encountered so far have their docking port facing in towards the planet they're orbiting. So that's a good rule of thumb. You gotta come in from planet side in order to get a good docking approach. But again, that's covered in the So You Want a Good Docking Approach video. Right now we're scanning around the uh, local ships here. I doubt that Beluga Liner is going to try to pirate us, but... There are a few other ships that could just be going towards Kaliri Port coincidentally, or they could be lining up for an interdiction run. So you want to kind of keep an eye out. Though you can probably rule out Belugas, Type 7s, Type 6s, Type 9s, and uh, Haulers. Unless you are facing hilariously suicidal pilots. You want to line up a good approach and you just want to get in the docking port as fast as you can. While still getting permission, that part's important. Don't forget to get docking permission on your way in. You could line up the most beautiful, perfect approach in the history of spaceflight. And you will still get into the station and they will lock every gun on the sector onto your rear end. So Kaliri Port may look like it's not quite following that faces inward rule, but it's orbiting a moon of this gas, gas giant rather than the gas giant itself. So far so good, no interdictions. So approaching from planet side here, and we're lined up pretty well actually. This is pretty good. Copy 3-1, and you see I've already vented a heatsink here, just in case to uh, ward off any potential scans. Doesn't always work, but it increases your odds. 
You're down. Down and locked. All right, go to Starport Services, and instead of going to the commodities market, you want to go to Contacts. Where we've got a handy-dandy black market link right here. Click on it, and there you go. You bought it for 81 credits, you're selling it for 700. And that's a pretty tidy profit for 40 tons of beer. There you go, Smuggling 101. Oh, and I seem to have gotten the attention of somebody. Ah, the Pilots' Federation. Entrepreneur. That's a really nice way to put it. On that note, everybody, that is Smuggling 101. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, fly safe. If you can't fly safe, fly dangerous. If you can't fly safe or fly dangerous, uh, smuggling might not be your first choice for a profession starting off. Take care, everybody. See you out in the deep dark.